Man, what is up? <clears throat> What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Varast, and today, um, I have an opinion video to get into, okay? This is an important opinion video because it has to do with Ragni, right? Um, and of course, the, the video, as you can see the title, uh, you, you already see what it is, it's which of the two introductory, uh, cities between Levigar and Ragni uh, into their respective provinces, right? So in the world of Windcraft, you have two gigantic provinces. The province of Gavel, the province of Wynn, and the introductory cities for those two are Ragni and Levigar. Now, I know what y'all are going to say. I can already see it. I can see the comment. Um, actually, Verast, uh, Corcus Island is a separate one, and Corcus City is an introductory city, and the Sound Expanse is a separate one, and Lutho is an introductory city. Well, guess what? I didn't ask. I didn't ask. And also, look, I want you to look me in my eyes. Look me in my eyes and tell me. Look me, like, right in the eyes. You better not flinch. Better not flinch. I'm not flinching. Look me in my eyes and tell me that these two, that these two provinces over here, this little tiny piece of thing where there's one city counts as a province. No. It is not. Okay. Okay. Look me in my eyes. Can you really, really, really... T no. No, you can't. Okay, so exactly. So today, we're literally going to be comparing the only two uh, introductory cities in the game of Wincraft for the province of Gavel and for the province of Wynn. Um, and of course, uh, there are differences to both of them uh, with respect to like levels and mobs that are spawn and kind of the, the job of each city, but they're generally the same thing. is to give you an introduction and a grand experience into... Um, the world right into it the, each of them their sorry into each of their respective worlds so let's talk about ragini or ragni or rat rat country that's pretty much what ragni is this is the entrance to ragni mostly because you, you have to do the what, what is this you have to do you have to do the, 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 the tutorial right you come in from the tutorial and you have this this grand palace now this was built a while ago so uh it is a bit outdated uh, but still, it, the building quality is still very nice. It's very medieval, very classic build. The castle is very nice. It is all pretty darn decent. It's one of the largest fortresses in this province as well. And like, look, as you walk out, like you, you can't help but be impressed with the build quality. You know, they have this gigantic moat coming all the way around the whole city. That's how it's defended so well. Um, and overall, the city is pretty well designed. They, it has been updated uh, in like over the years, and so uh, they've taken the time to make sure it looks nice. And guess what? Uh, it does. It looks pretty nice. It's pretty sick. And uh, if you look at the map, um, you have a, a, a you can go north, you can go east, you can go south, and each of them goes to their own respective types of areas in the game. You go south, you hit the pigment ravines and the door of time and time value. A lot of very beautiful places that is kind of underused in the game, personally speaking. You go to the east and it's like the main progression. You go to Deadless and then that's kind of where most of life really happens here. Uh, in the province and then you go north and you hit the ocean you go south you see mountains and uh jungles and stuff you go north you have the ocean so it's like you know it's it's a lot it's a lot of it's a lot of things uh it does it very very well so who's the competition again well uh <laughs> i'm kind of glad you asked that question because otherwise we would have been standing here for a pretty long amount of time um doing nothing but i'm glad you asked the question because the other place we're competing against is levigar the court city let me show you this entrance right you land on a boat here for the first time ever you come on here with a horse and check out this grand entrance i mean i mean come on come on look at that that is uh glorious right um it's not as like quaint right it's a very 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 um impressive yeah yeah you see it i see it oh my horse big bulk eddie you see his name big bulk eddie he's here um but yeah check that out that looks absolutely gorgeous it is so well done and look they kind of serve the same purpose you start out in levigar you can't really go into the whole province without first coming into levigar this is your introduction and it is absolutely 
crazily, immeasurably, insert other exclamations here, uh, cool. It is actually super cool, and I'm not even gonna cap. This stuff is kind of fire. Look at this gigantic city. It is kind of insane. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This stuff is crazy. And now, look, it gets a bit stale because they literally just put like random stones and stairs into the walls and thought that it looked nice, which it kind of doesn't. But the sheer scale and size of the city. Look, look, they were overcompensating, but uh. It worked if you know what I mean. But anyways, I think that Levigar ultimately is a better starting city. And that's probably because the builders had time to... They kind of understood what Windcraft was by the time they built Gavel, right? When they were building the province of Wind, it was kind of just like, hey, they were doing it for fun. And they were just ex exploring ideas of how they could build stuff. And so they really didn't consider Ragni... Um, like too much as like they didn't spend that much time building it because there was a whole world to build but once you have a whole world built when you start building it like a secondary world for it you take a lot more time and the builds i kind of expect it to be a bit more grandiose right especially if the level uh cap goes up much higher which it did it went from 75 to 100 um which well actually to 106 which is what i i don't know i think it's to 100 i don't remember long story short it doesn't matter because guess what levigar just looks better look at this look at that it's a statue it's a villager black well look at that and that guy's got money in him yeah yeah he's got money look oh check this out check this out if i come here look at this look at this i come in in his eye look at this he's got money in him look at that in his shoulder it's not in his eye it's in his shoulder um but yes it does serve as a much 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 cooler introduction and then once you start leaving levigar it feels a lot more like a starting city again because of course like in most games you start off in a nice little plains area and uh yeah there's if there's one thing that i would say levigar doesn't do as well as ragni because like i've been harping uh on like on ragni and saying that it's trash which it isn't ragni isn't trash um ragni is amazing because of where it is situated um because the tutorial area behind it and like the final city is troms which once you beat the game you will have kind of gone in a cyclical nature you go from ragni to deadless to almuj rymek nisak <clears throat> sorry nasak and you kind of go in this kind of circle looking thing and you end up in troms here and then there's an easy connection to ragni so you can easily uh go around right and so the design is very very well designed and cyclical meanwhile in gavel you begin in levigar you go up and to the right to the right to the right guess what you go to the right to the right to the right you go up and then to the right, to the right, and then you end up in the Sky Islands in Omsword at level 100. And then, long story short, life is crazy, life is cool and amazing. Ka-chow, uh, GG's, go next. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of how Ragni works out super well. Uh, and Gavel kind of misses the mark, it's just literally a linear plot to the right. Which, I, you look, it's not bad. It's just kind of kind of cringe, you know, kind of cringe if you think about it. But regardless, that is my opinion on Levigar and Ragni and which one is better. And it's obviously uh, Levigar as a starting city. It's not really a competition. I have a lot of love for Ragni because, of course, it is the OG city, the original, the gangster. Um, and so, obviously, Ragni, uh, personally, if I think about... Uh, uh, like history wise and the lore wise Ragni wins out on top no one cares about the the lore of Levigar their whole lore is that a lot of villagers mined a lot of courts and built a big city and they trade and make a lot of money off their courts kind of easy to tell right there's not much to the city um, there are a few things with with when it, once you reach Amsor, there's something about like Siegfried and he studied he studied at a university in Levigar and Levigar, whatever they have a lot of knowledge or whatever. Um, but Ragni is a lot cooler because the story behind it is a lot cooler and it has Bob in it. Come on, if you have a guy named Bob in your story, 
you have to win you know you and you, you kind of have to win but regardless that's all i have time for today i just want to give my two cents or my three cents or my 50 cents who knows how many cents i gave to these uh cities let me know what you guys think of ragni and levigar inside of windcraft yeah and if and if you don't care um just explore yourself let me know what like don't worry about it stop watching the video what do you what, why are you watching the video anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one peace goodbye uh